Hello, I'm Dr. Alexander Yamato, a vascular surgeon at the Yamato Institute. Today, I'll talk about the eight signs that may indicate you have lipedema. So, having this knowledge can open doors for you, it can help you seek a better quality of life. It's a very important topic for all women in Brazil. But before that, take a moment, click down below on the subscribe button to join our YouTube channel and receive the best health content. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at LDR Alexandria Mato. There's a lot of exclusive content there too on Instagram. Come on, follow me there too. So, lipedema is that fat deposition in the lower limbs, affecting below the waist or upper limbs, sparing the abdomen, the trunk. It's a diseased fat, a fat that causes symptoms like pain, fatigue, heaviness. So, what are the eight main signs that might indicate you have lipedema? First of all, it's the disproportion. It's this lipidemic fat in the lower and upper limbs that you can't easily get rid of. Any obesity treatment, like diet or exercise not targeted at lipedema, doesn't allow this fat to go away easily. So this fat accumulates over time and doesn't go away easily. The second characteristic is the onset at some point of a major hormonal variation. So it's very common for lipedema to start, although it already carries the genetics from before, but the symptoms start at a time of significant hormonal change in women, which could be puberty, pregnancy, or even menopause. There are other triggers, but hormonal variation is the most frequent of all. The third sign is that this fat spares the hands and feet. Despite this, in up to 30% of cases, there can be a small deposition, a change in the characteristic of the hands and feet, either due to an association with lymphedema or a change in the elasticity of this connective tissue. The Kaski C, fourth sign, also very frequent, is the presence of bruises, ecchymosis, hematomas on the legs. It can also occur on the arms, especially during periods of greater inflammation of lipedema. These bruises often appear with a small trauma that you don't even remember. They start appearing, several, they start appearing in erratic places, moments you wouldn't expect. So this appearance that suggests capillary fragility is one of the important signs in diagnosing lipedema. The fifth sign is the presence of palpable nodules under the skin. So imagine on the thigh, a skin where you can feel and sense nodules underneath. I've heard people describe it as a bag of tapioca pearls under the skin, a bag of lentils, of corn, this sensation of nodules, which can be smaller or larger nodules, can suggest the presence of lipedema inflammation. So, it's one of the important signs for diagnosing this disease. And the sixth sign is the enlargement of the leg, resistant to elevation. What does that mean? It's the disproportion between the upper body and the lower body, mm -hmm. with asymmetry between the left side and the right side, and when we lift the leg, the leg's volume, the swelling, it doesn't decrease. It doesn't decrease because it's more fatty tissue than actual swelling. Although it brings all this sensation of swelling, of leg edema, it's clear that when we lift the legs in venous insufficiency or lymphedema, for example, those legs decrease in volume and in lipedema, this won't happen. You lift the leg and there won't be that volumetric reduction of the lower limbs. The seventh sign is the Godet sign, or pitting edema as we call it, among doctors. Now um, for you, what, what does this mean? What is the Godet sign? The Godet sign is when you press and it forms a dent. This indentation can be small or large. It can be. It can suggest fluid leaking out of the cell into the interstitium. 
this is edema. The thing is, in lipedema, this Godet sign can be positive or negative. You can have the indentation or you might not have the indentation. Usually when this indentation occurs, it's a slight one, it doesn't form such a big hole. I'm talking about a hole not just pressing and turning white, that's very important. So this edema may or may not be present and in the more advanced stages of the disease, it can be more frequently present. And the eighth sign I wanted to talk to you about is the presence of other affected family members with the disease. So because it is a disease with a genetic characteristic, with a hereditary characteristic, it is very common to find other women in the family with this disease. And this is one of the reasons why people say it is a body composition of the family. Oh, this is the family's body type. Oh, you take after your mother's side or your father's side. So all the women in the father's family have this body composition and you took after that side of the family. This took after that side is the hereditary characteristic of the disease. The thing is, since men very rarely show lipedema, this disease can skip generations. It could be that some women also don't have it because the inflammatory trigger hasn't happened yet, as I mentioned. It might only trigger later on during menopause or it could be earlier during puberty. So it could be that uh, someone hasn't developed it yet, but it's very common to see other family members with this characteristic of fat deposition uh, in limbs. So these are the eight main signs described in the latest guideline published for the diagnosis of lipedema. Did you enjoy watching our video? Subscribe to our channel, share it with your friends, send it to that friend you think might have lipedema. And see you next time.